Greetings and salutations. It is Saturday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. I got the husband beside me. You can see his shoulder. We had to do some maneuvering because the sun was like very bright and you couldn't even see my face. Would you like to wave and say hi? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> okay, so um, I got a request from Polite Connect to do a pet leveling guide. So I kind of already did videos about pets <coughs> excuse me, about um, the pet dailies. So essentially what I'm just going to do is walk you through how to get 25s quickly. So if you don't have a group of three level 25s, um, go watch my other videos on the pet dailies and how to get them. And it talks about how to get through all the quests and all of that. Um, my advice to you is as you're going through the chain, which if you don't have 25s, you will still have the chain available, is to do something like this. You're going to want a flying, a mechanical, and a beast because you're going to be fighting a um, <clears throat> these guys have flying generally has a really fast speed which is really helpful if you're going against guys that are really really strong um, so in, until they get below 50% health they uh, have 50% extra speed which is really really handy to have so I would definitely like 10 out of 10 recommend having the flying on your team mechanical you're going to be fighting a lot of beasts um, and they get to come back every time, which is great. Um, every time they die, they come back at 30% health, or 20% health, which is really, really helpful. But uh, you will be fighting a lot of beasts. I keep looking here because that's where the camera is, but the camera is here, so I apologize. Um, so you're going to be wanting to do that. And finally, I picked a beast um, because you do end up fighting a lot of critters. Um, you don't fight a lot of mechanicals, you don't have to worry about taking extra damage, and they do damage, it's super, super helpful to, to do damage against Critter, and if you're fighting a Tamer, it's also very helpful, um, especially if you pick a Spider, they usually will have some type of webbing, which prevents them from leaving and swapping out if you stun them or something, which is really, really great. So, this is kind of my ideal, like, dream team for doing your first group. I didn't have these initially, and then as I leveled, I realized this is a really powerful team for helping pets level up and what have you. So, once you have three pets to 25, you can start power leveling. And once you've done, let me look for it here. Once you have done the, uh, you've defeated 40 of the Tamers, you'll get the Safari hat, which looks like this. And it increases pet battle experience that you gain by 10%, which is really, really helpful um, if you're planning on power leveling a whole group of guys. So what you're going to do then is you're going to pick a one that you want to level. And I've leveled um, a pet from 1 to 25 in a couple hours. Sometimes it'll take me less depending on how into it I am. But essentially what you're going to do is you're going to go to... So why do I keep opening this thing? I want to open this. So you're going to pick a level one pet. So let's say I want to level my spawn of Gnathos, 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 anyway. So what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever one you're going to level and you're going to stick to two. It doesn't matter which two. I find this is generally a good combo because um, you're usually going to end up fighting a beast and you're usually going to end up fighting some form of critter and it's just handy to have webbing and this guy's really powerful. Um, and you're going to sw swap him out for first place and go to, well, it doesn't matter what zone, the only issue with going to higher level zones is the wrong attack can cause them to one shot your pet and then you're kind of boned. So my advice is to go to a lower level and start farming for rares because, no, stop doing that. Um, there is, maybe it's in here. Where are you? Here it is. There's the rare achievement. So capture rare, capture 10, and capture 50. And rare pets have better stats, and then you don't have to worry about upgrading them later. So I would suggest going to an area where you don't have a lower area, where you don't have any other rare pets, and get them to about level five, somewhere between five and six, and then go to the higher level areas and then just put them in, let them do one attack and then swap them out and just kill everything and you'll have a level 25 in a couple, like seriously an hour, maybe maybe two if you don't have the best teams back here and you have to wait to constantly, excuse me, revive. 
Um, but that is pretty much it. Uh, power leveling can be time consuming. Um, but another way to level, if you've got time to kill and you want to level a full team at once, just grab three random pets, go to a low zone and just fight, capturing rares as you go and slowly work your way to the various zones. And as soon as you finished, um, you, as soon as you got them to the higher, the higher cap of that area, go to a new one. Or you can do what I do because I'm a little bit crazy. I go to a zone like, let's say, Stormwind. So I'll go to Stormwind and I will wait. You see, I have my settings here. So these are all of the pets that are available to get in Stormwind. So there's a, these are, the seasonal ones will all show up. So all the cats that you can get here are all here. Um, so there's frogs and the fawns, the black lamb, etc. And what you're, and then here's the spring rabbit from uh, uh, Noble Garden. So what I do though is I search to only show me ones that I have where I'd have them, but they're not rare. So if I own anything that is less than rare, um, it shows up. So you can see I haven't turned any of the cats into rares, so I still have those. But everything else is gone. It's, it's all disappeared because I have either, I went around and I captured them up until they were all rares, or I uh, turned them into rares using stones. Um, for in terms of these ones, I generally suggest don't waste stones on them. Waste stones on the ones that you have to get from a vendor where you can only get them as uncommons. Um, otherwise it just kind of goes crazy. Um, and the other way you can level, and again this will take you a lot longer, but you'll get kind of more going, is you go to a low level again like Stormwind, and you, as soon as a pet gets to like level 3, or where the next zone is level, yeah, so level 3. So as soon as your pets get to level 3, you swap them out for another level 1, and you just keep going until you have everything rare, or until everything is level 3, whatever you like. That is a lot more time consuming. I've seen people do it, and then by the time you're done, and you're like a month down the road, but you have 15 new level, or 30 sometimes, even new level 25s, which is really great if you're going for a celestial tournament or something like that. But yeah, that's it pretty much okay we're gonna switch to well yeah i can't really switch to full screen because the husband is there but that is okay um that is it for today uh so that is yeah just a very simple basic guide on how to do the level 25 um go get the pets to level 25 quickly um everyone has their own kind of way of doing it but if you can get a group of three and again if you can try and do a flying a mechanical and a beast and you get them to you get them to level 25 you do get defeat 40 of the pet tamers you go through the quest chain if you can get that safari hat and then you can go to any of the pet vendors and you can buy the pet treats for some of these pet charms or you can I think you can buy them, you can find them in the pet satchels that you get from the various dailies, um, which again I did, I've done a video too, I'll link it, into the, I'll link it in the description. Um, it'll make you just go that much faster, especially if you're power leveling, it makes it go really, really fast. I don't mind the grind because it, it only takes me an hour, so I don't generally like to buy this, the pet treats where it experiences, it um, raises the uh, experience gained, so this one is raised by 50% 50, 50%, this one raises it by 25 um, so you can, absolutely you can, but I just, it, you know, it takes me an hour, so what the hell, why do I want to waste my pet charms on that when I could be buying stones? So yeah, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tomorrow will be a vlog, and Monday we will go back to a new game, and I have no idea what it's going to be yet, so keep leaving me suggestions for new games, because games, they're fun, and I like them, and I would like to try something new, and then maybe at some point I will... Uh, go back and I'm thinking I'll do like a live stream and we'll do the new game plus of Defender's Quest or we may just not do it at all. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Apparently there's new quests though so maybe I'll just uh, do it as a let's play again just a couple games down the road. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.